leader. We begin at 5.30 with pothole problems. A Coventry man spends his own time and money to fill potholes on a busy boulevard. His act of kindness is now getting a lot of attention. Thanks for staying with us at 5.30. I'm Emily Bowles. And I'm Dan Jenick. I wish you lived in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. A lot nice. of potholes. NBC 10 Sam Reed caught up with him. She joins us live from Coventry with his story. Sounds like quite a guy, Sam. Yeah, pothole problems that are now fixed thanks to a man by the name of Seth Kersetter who moved to Coventry from Pennsylvania about three months, three years ago, excuse me. He tells me recently on Facebook he's seen lots of pictures of damaged vehicles due to potholes, so he decided to do something about it. If you ask drivers their opinion on the road conditions along the center of New England Boulevard, they may say something like, Just look at the road. There's patches absolutely everywhere. The dead end boulevard runs right through some shopping centers and apartment units. Hundreds drive on it daily, and that was the case for Seth Kersetter on Sunday. I drove past it, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Kersetter was at Home Depot off of the boulevard when he decided to purchase supplies and fix some of the potholes that were causing problems. Recently, he says he's heard stories about them damaging people's vehicles. You know, everybody has their story. So I decided, you know what, I know I have a little extra money, you know. So why not try and help everyone? For nearly two hours, he blocked traffic, put out cones, and filled in the potholes. He says he read the directions just to be safe. It definitely needed love, whether it was from me or whoever owns it. The center of New England Boulevard is not owned by the town or the state. It's owned privately. The road is now in receivership and under the care of attorney Matthew McGowan, who hasn't returned our calls. Today, hired crews came to fill in some of the problem areas. Kersetter says his act of kindness has not gone unnoticed, especially on social media. It's definitely humbling to, to see that it's, it's helped a lot of people. Filling in potholes like this isn't necessarily legal, and we don't recommend you do it. It's a price that Kersetter says he's willing to pay. He also tells me he didn't go into this with a blind eye. He works in construction. Live in Coventry tonight, Sam Reed, NBC 10 News.